In this uh, video, we'll see how to use the internal rate of return to select between different investments. The internal rate of return is for a set of cash flows uh, C0 through CN is calculated in this manner. It is the rate of return R such that the net present value of these cash flows equals zero. Now, please notice that the initial cash flow of C0 is usually negative, which represents an outflow of cash and the subsequent cash flow C1 through CN are usually positive, which represent an inflow of cash for your project. Now, if you were to discount all these uh, future cash flows by the interest rate adjusted for the number of periods, you will get the net present value and that value of R for which this net present value becomes zero is your internal rate of return or IRR. The project IRR is greater than your required return, invest in the project. So let's say you have two projects A and B, and uh, here are the internal rates of return for each project. It's RA for project A and RB for project B. Then you should just simply choose the project whose internal rate of return is higher. Let's see this concept in action in a spreadsheet. Let's say you have project A and project B and you have five different years, years zero through uh, one through five. And initially in the zeroth year or at the very start of your analysis period, you're investing $500 in project A versus you need to invest $700 in project B. And project A uh, gives a return of $160 uh, in every subsequent year for the next five years. And project B instead gives 210. Now, if you were to just add the cash balances, project B appears more attractive because project A has lesser cash. But uh, as we saw in the previous NPV example, the net present value of project A is higher than the net present value of project B and so it should be chosen. Let's compute the internal rate of return for each of these projects. So speaking of project A, you would compute the internal rate of return in this manner equals IRR, which is the formula for internal rate of return. The values include all the values, including the initial value. You just select all of them and you have to provide a guess value for Excel to get started. Now a guess value could be some rate of return that you think is in the ballpark. Uh, you can give a value of 0 0.1. That's usually a good guess because your, your rate is usually probably 5% or 10% or 15%. So you can just give it as 10% or 0 0.1 and you can press enter and you can then copy the same formula over to the next cell as well. So now you can see that the internal rate of return for project A is 18% and the internal rate of return for project B is 15%, which again means that you choose project A. So that's how you would use the internal rate of return to choose between two projects.